Hey, we're back. Same day. We're going to do something a little bit different. I made another video a couple of minutes ago about making Care Bear <coughs> ornaments. And I'm going to do the same story on this one. These are from the 80s. And these are the kind that you used to buy out of vending machines for like a quarter. They came in this little cup. And then you pop them out. Now, these are 1980s, so of course, you are not going to get anything of this quality out of a vending machine. You'll get a tattoo, a fake one, or some plastic rings. Now, these are solid plastic, but after checking them, I found out that the head is solid plastic, but inside the body is kind of hollow. And they got the little heart on the butt and little heart on the f or the little heart on the feet. So these are really cool. I made, I got these at a yard sale a while back. I got like over a hundred of them. They were, they're here in the pile. They're the, three of the same colors, but I noticed that the three have different hand positions. Wide open hands. This one has like a hand on his face. And then I've got one with a hand on the knee. Okay. And I made these for my wife and I said, I'm going to make you a Care Bear ornament tree. And she said, you know what? I have an even better idea. I want a pop 80s culture tree so she dug out of her stuff and she got me all these little duplicates that she had we I got have more she has more <laughs> she has raisin guys california raisins monchichi and noids i love the noid now these will all work because they're all plastic if you've got some that are wood or metal it's not going to work what you need to make these into ornaments is very very simple go to your local craft store I'm not going to endorse a certain store that starts with an M because they're just way too expensive. Find a little mom and pop one. These are little kits for making earrings and they've, some of them come with a little loop on them. I am not sure if you're a craft person you know what the heck this is. It just looks like a giant nail to me. But you're going to end up making these little hooks out of metal. And you need, of course, a pair of needle nose. I've got two because I've got thin ones and thick ones. A candle to heat the metal, which I'll show you what that is in a second. And, of course, your little plastic guy. Try to find a spot on the head where it's not going to be too obvious in case you make a mistake and slide down and burn it. But so far, I've been lucky. I am going to show you a trick that I learned. I've got a little Care Bear here. These little metal barbs, you have to heat them up. <clears throat> and I'm going to put this off to the side for a second and I'm going to get a Monchichi he's got a nice little plastic head and heat them up now when you heat these up I was having a, a tendency to stick it in the flame and you'll slip it now and then and it will fall into the flame try to stay I'm talking so the flame is moving try to stay above the flame and of course our air conditioner just kicked on so it's moving with that too heat it up a little bit like for about 30 seconds or so if the metal starts to get so red hot that it starts to glow you're good and don't just heat up the tip try to heat up the whole thing because when you heat it up and you stick it into the plastic it'll just melt its way through see I did not heat this one up enough and it stopped Okay, so what you can do, all is not lost. Just go ahead and pull it out before it sets. What's happening is, is the heat burns through the plastic, and then when I let go of it, it cools, and the plastic kind of like loop closes around it. So these will not come out, trust me. Well, they will if you pull them out with a pair of needle nose like I just did, but... So we start the process again. And then just find a hole you just made and continue. Whee. I've just done a Monchichi lobotomy. Yes. And now we she has a Monchichi Christmas ornament. And it's dried a little bit, so now I can show you that it's pretty good in there, it's not gonna come out. I mean you can pull it out if you need to, but don't. The reason that I said stay above the flame is sometimes when you're in the flame this will blacken and what will happen is as you're putting it in the outer edge here turns black I mean you can take a little exacto knife and remove it 
but she says it's fine because you're not going to see it unless you're looking for it. I'm going to do the Noid next because he looks like he's going to be a tough dude to, to mess with. Can I just put it between his ears? I can do it in the back. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. And what I'm going to show you is, is like I took one of these long ones that does not have a loop in it. And what you do is take a hair needle nose, grab the tip like that, just fold it around, pull it out. Ta-da, you've got a hook. And then these have cutters on them. You can either cut it or bend it off. Don't throw away the piece that you just cut because it's long enough that you can make another one. And then just cut that little knob off at the end. And these will eventually fall on the floor and you will step on them and it will hurt. So be careful when you're doing this. Make these about an inch or so long. And let's start cooking it. The valuable noise. Dun dun dun. You can be gross and stick one in his butt and hang him upside down. No. Well, I mean, he did commercials where he was upside down. No. Heating up out of the bar here. Get that tip glowing. No, it's lobotomy. Oops, a little bent here. Straighten it back up. We have ourselves Well, I was gonna do it here. Be cool. There. Annoyed Christmas tree ornament. Sweet. What else we got? Let's do a California raisin. Of course, as always, be careful with the hooks. Don't do anything stupid like heat it up and say, is it hot? Ah, yes, it is. Let's do this guy. He looks like a brain, so it, it will be like a lobotomy. <laughs> heat up your stick. Now, see what I did is I it went into the flame, and you can tell that it's black like that. But, like I said, you can just wipe it off or just use an exacto knife. The best thing is just to stay above the flame and just heat up the metal. Try to do it in a spot where it doesn't flicker around like that. Whoa, he's hard plastic, so he's going to take a couple. Next will be Smurfs. Smurfs are next. If you guys remember a while ago when McDonald's was doing those Smurfs. No, not those. My 80 Smurfs. Though. We have some 80 Smurfs, but if you've got some of those ones that the McDonald's had, those are perfect. Oh, yeah, he's going to take a few. <laughs> if you're doing California raisins, these things are solid plastic. That's how you can tell if they were from the 80s, because if they were from the 80s, they'd be solid plastic. If they're the new ones from the 90s or 2000s... You sneeze on them and they break? Yeah, the little pieces break off, and you can actually squish them. California Raisin Ornament. So, I mean, if you got a bunch of these laying around that you've collected and you just have them sitting on a shelf, make them purpose. And if you want to, you can get one of those little metal trees that's not like a Christmas tree and just display them that way. Your Care Bears, your Noise. You just remember that if you are collecting these as collectible, you put a hook in them, you're putting a hole in it. I don't know if that's going to affect the collectability of it, but 
I think these are cooler. Don't you agree? Yep. Although if I didn't have dupes, I wouldn't let you put a hole in them. But oh, that's of course. just me. <laughs> yes, yes. These are all duplicates. So I'm going to be doing these for her. For a Mother's Day present. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. And that's it for this one. Oh, wait a minute. Before I go, uh, I think I've covered it all. How to bend the hooks. How to heat the hooks. How to use these metal, metal thingies. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I will go ahead and say, don't use glue. It does not work. Um, I've tried everything. I've tried the Gorilla Glue, and we've tried the Super Glue. What ends up happening is, is either the glue will harden as you're in the middle of shoving the stick in. I had to use a Dremel, and I drilled it out, but putting the glue in, the glue smears all over the top as it's going down, and it just looks ugly. And either it's stuck halfway, and that's it, you're done. I will give you a tip. If you're doing that and you're pushing it in and this thing just is stuck and it won't come out and it won't come in and you've got too much of it showing, just cut it off. Straighten the hook up, bend the new hook close to the, the piece and just cut off the excess. So all is not lost if you make a mistake. I think I've covered it all. That's it for this one. Next, we're going back to old school. How to install surge suppression in your power panel. Till then.